Hi everybody and welcome back to A Book in a Bottle. Okay, this week I am taping here in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. Uh, one of my earlier Book in a Bottle uh, videos was filmed at the local bookstore in town and I'm back this weekend babysitting uh, one of the bed and breakfasts here in town for some friends. So, um, you know, I've been in charge now for about three hours and so far everything's good. Of course, I haven't had any guests arrive yet, but hopefully all will go well. So this week I thought, okay, I want to share with you this really fun book um, and also a book with a lot of depth called The Homespun Wisdom of Myrtle T. Cribb. Okay, this is by Sherry Reynolds. She is a Southern writer. She teaches at Old Dominion University. She's a number one New York Times bestseller. Some of her previous books were The Firefly Cloak and The Rapture of Canaan. But this just felt like a really, really appropriate book for the journey that I'm on right now. I've been uh, on the road, uh, left yesterday, and drove up here from Chattanooga to Pennsylvania, and then I'm going through New York City and on to Boston and back through D.C. and back home. So I'm on a little bit of a pilgrimage of my own, as is Myrtle T. Cripp. So Myrtle T. Um, is this special needs teacher from the eastern Virginia shore, and she's in this very dysfunctional marriage. Her husband just is emotionally abusive. And she heads off one morning to have some outpatient surgery. And on the way, she discovers that the local drunk, Hellcat, is stowed away in the back of her truck. And as she's driving, she just decides to keep going. Forget the surgery and just keep going. And so Hellcat and Myrtle T. Cribb start this amazing pilgrimage together. And they're the most unlikely people to pair together, and then they have the most wonderful adventure. At times, it's just outright hilarious, but then it's really emotional and, and deep and, and inspirational. And actually, it's written as if Mer uh, Myrtle uh, has herself written a, um, a devotional, a devotional book. Uh, I mean, a book of devotions, and so I I like that um, quirkiness to it. At the end of every chapter, Myrtle has some you know real sage life advice, and so it really just is this wonderful blend of quirky, fun, and and inspirational. So I think you're going to really enjoy it. So while Myrtle is on her journey with Hellcat, I'm on mine. Okay, so trying to decide the drink of choice for this was a little bit difficult. I went to the wine store, I was looking around, I had some thoughts, and then it dawned on me, okay, wait, Hellcat's drink of choice is vodka. But I think Myrtle would not drink straight vodka like Hellcat. I think she would want something a little bit more feminine, a little bit more pink, a little bit more fun. So I decided I would do my simple Cosmo that my oldest sister Alice taught me and it's great when you're on the road and you need to keep things simple. So I start with a glass of ice. I prefer a um, mandarin or you know orange vodka for this. You could use a citron but I prefer um, the orange. So I bought the absolute mandarin because I just wanted to get a little bottle. So I pour that in. And then the only thing I mix it with is um, cra cranberry cocktail, but it has to be the light, not sugar-free and not full strength, but the light. Very particular about that. And then I add a little bit of that. Now my sister um, does not like a sweet Cosmo, and nor do I. So she makes it, um, you know, like this and. You can add, if you want, actually, I think I'm going to mix it like this. You, no, actually, I'm going to mix it like this. <laughs> Sorry. I'm visiting, so I can't get my glassware all together. Um, you could add a little triple sec if you want it a little sweeter, but I don't. So I mix it up and then pour it into my glass. If I have a shaker, you know, I can do a little bit better. And when I'm home and have all my, you know, utensils with me, sometimes I'll, you know, 
slice a, a pretty lime in there or you know if I have really fine sugar I'll rim the top if I'm you know entertaining but a lot of times it's just this simple and it's just this yummy so um, cheers to Hellcat and Myrtle Tea Crib and their fabulous amazing journey together